Hello and welcome to this edition of Trojan Talk. I'm Paige Ray. Our guests today are Chris Stangle and Nathan Hobbs, both with the Art and Design Department here at Troy. Guys, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having us. We're very excited to be here. I know it, especially you, because this is something you talk to us about every single year, right. which is the Yellowhammer Film Festival, correct? That's right. That's right. We started in 2021. And uh, originally, we just kind of started as an avenue for uh, Alabama high school and college students to have a free avenue to show their films to the world. And uh, we quickly turned into a nationwide film festival. And so now we get submissions from all over the country. That is amazing. And you mentioned before this interview started, you didn't realize there was such a great need or want for that. That's right. We had no idea. Honestly, the entire festival started as a way for me to showcase some art and design work from the Troy students, yes. the Troy design students, because they were making some really cool projects. And I thought to myself, like, well, what can we do with these? How can we get these out there? So we started Yellowhammer as a mechanism to really showcase the incredible film and motion work that was happening in our classes. And then um, I, it just exploded like overnight. And it, it seemed like it was overnight anyways. And it quickly became a, 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 a really kind of staple, I think, in the community, in the Alabama community, definitely in the Troy community. And you don't have to be an art and design student from Troy. You can be from any high school, any college, anywhere in the country, or have been a high school and college student in the past three years to submit any work that you've got, as long as it's under 10 minutes. We take all types of, uh, you know, this uh, media rather. So music videos, short films, uh, longer films up to 10 minutes, uh, motion graphics, animations, things like that. That's awesome. You guys take a wide variety. And That's right. Nathan, correct me if I'm wrong, but you actually participated in the festival as a student and you had yes. pretty good success yes. when you did. <laughs> well, I've participated two years. My first year, I did not do, was not very successful. <laughs> I don't think I made the show the first year. And then the second year I picked up and won, I th believe, three awards last year. Wow. So best it's music video, best music video, best commercial series. And I was a part of the team that won the Yellowhammer Award. Wow. So. so as someone who went through it as a student, went through that process, what was it like to finally have an avenue that you could use to show off stuff you've worked really, really hard on? It was very exciting because it was somewhere free that you could go put your work out and seeing things that I've made on a big screen in a movie theater this past year was one of the most exciting things that's ever happened to, I for me. That. And that's an opportunity that you guys provide for so many students. So I know the admission process, is that how you explain it? So yeah, we have a, a Film Freeway site where we okay. take all of our entries and uh, you can go onto Film Freeway and create a profile and upload any work that you have created over the past three years. And, uh, and then you can submit that uh, for free, like Nathan was saying, uh, through the Film Freeway portal. And so that's filmfreeway.com uh, slash Yellowhammer. Our judges are from HBO and Netflix, and um, they, you know, they obviously have a lot of streaming work and the uh, University of Central Florida. I have some other professors that I've worked with through the years who also judge. There's so much that goes into this process. There's so many people involved. I think it's really cool that you guys have managed to get so many people behind this. They have a lot of great sponsors. Uh, this year, our presenting sponsor is a company called Rokinon. Along with Rokinon, we have Glide Gear. And then uh, our third sponsor is Tilta. We also have the Alabama Film Office. And um, we have some other sponsors as well. And we're still kind of in the process of locking in more. But uh, every year, it seems like we have um, at least a half dozen to eight, you know, really great sponsors. And uh, you did mention uh, the fact that we would be showing this and we will we'll be over in the Crosby Theater. Crosby Theater on uh, October 27th. Anybody that comes by is gonna get to vote on their best films. The film showcase will probably start right, we, we haven't published the time yet, but it's gonna be right around 6 p.m. And uh, we'll definitely publish that and let everyone know and invite everyone, but you'll get to be a judge and we'll be giving away an audience choice award in the college, high school, and animation division. So they will get to judge the actual work as well. So uh, anybody that comes 
gets free popcorn, gets to be a part of an awesome experience, see a keynote speaker, and get to judge uh, the films too. What more can you ask for? I mean, really. Nothing. Exactly, Nothing. exactly. So well, it. you guys, thank you so much for being here. I wish you yes, all the luck, and we look forward to seeing the final project. Thank you so much. Of course, and thank you for joining us on this edition of Trojan Talk.